say welcome back so this brazilian journalist reverse story will make you emotional it will make you cry so let's check it out i'm so happy i'm crying but but i am happy thank you thank you the 2014 brazil world cup has come and gone but the memories still linger with many brazilians for journalist andre lara who became a muslim it was a moment of happy emotion as he told his story. How did it exactly happen? Andre told the story himself years later. He went on to talk more about the relatively untold stories about Islam and Muslims in Brazil. No one could have done it better. I don't know how to explain that because I was in my home watching TV and something come to my mind and said, you have to know a new religion. And uh, the name is Islam. Go and find it. Eight years ago, Brazil hosted the world's most popular sports competition, the World Cup. Expectations were high. Tourists and football fans trooped in in thousands. And citizens were ecstatic, anxious, or in high hopes. These emotions were evident to the discerning. However, many more were going on in the background. It was no secret that the World Cup would change lives, and it indeed changed lives. Aside from the fact that Brazil failed to win the World Cup, even getting humiliated by the eventual winner, Germany, in the semi-final, a lot of emotions were displayed to express the sadness, disappointment, and disbelief that trailed the display of the Seleção like the Brazilian national team is called. Apart from those disappointments, people made money from the World Cup's economic changes. In some people, life changed differently. This was the case with young journalist Andre Lara. The World Cup was a rare opportunity for many, and it played a crucial part in telling the story. However, what is certain is that Andre Lara's life changed. While talking about how he became a Muslim, a story that he admitted was somehow strange to explain. Andre had this thought, but instead of ignoring it, he took action. His family, however, was not having it. Owing to the very little information available about Islam in Brazil and the widespread misconceptions people have gotten used to, his mum, acting on these misconceptions, which is jihad misconstrued as war, asked him to rethink it. For Andre. I always I remember when I became a mother, my, my mother said to me, uh, but son, you, we will not go to the war, no? I said, mom, it's not war, Islam is not war, it's only a religion, I am going to the God, not to the war. My mother said to me, you are more, you are more calm, you can talk with me with more calm now, you can understand the things more. That differences are with you because the Islam, continue in the Islam because it's a good way for you, son. My mother said to me. For Andre and the over 500,000 Muslims in Brazil, the World Cup was a perfect opportunity to spread the message of Islam and reach a wider audience within a small location and time. Doha for me is so important because it's the only way that you have to talk about the Islam. Of Muslims in Brazil, here we have today uh, maybe 500,000 Muslims in Brazil and the Brazilians don't know about that. We have the, our mosques and the Brazilians don't know we have mosques. They also observed Salah in public places during the Dawah activities in Brazil. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar La ilaha illa Allah Seeing the success their outreach brought, Andre was very emotional as he welcomed some brothers into his home, something that hadn't happened in his eight years of being a Muslim. They observed Salah with him and his family. Eight and played with them. Because I am Muslim have eight years and never, never 
Muslims brothers come to my home to pray with me. I, which sure is the first time I can make my salat with brothers here. And uh, thank you so much to be here. And uh, you are always welcome here. Now you have my home like your home here. I never, I never think I can get brothers, Muslim brothers, in my academy playing jiu-jitsu with me. And after in my home praying with me, with my, my little boy, with my family, and I'm so happy. I'm crying, but, but I am happy. Thank you. Thank you. Andre stated that becoming a Muslim has changed his life and his lifestyle. He used to drink, but doesn't do that anymore. Although he never liked pork, he still ate it, but abstaining from it was easy, and it became a plus for him when he became a Muslim. For Andre, his efforts, the commitment, and the experience of what happened during the Brazil 2014 world will linger with him till the end, however different it is from the other average Brazilian that experienced the World Cup. Wow, that was a beautiful one, guys. I love the fact that he, he saw the light, he saw the truth, and he went for it. That, that is Islam for him. And immediately he informed the mom. The mom was like, Oof, are you sure this is, are you not going to work? All because of the mis misconception going around the world about Islam. People say that Islam is this, Islam is that. Negative, you know, review about Islam by the non-Muslim. So it was when he got to know Islam, his life changed for good. And that was the reason why the mom accepted the religion. He told him to go ahead. That if this Islam, this religion can change your life for good, then that, then that religion is good for you. Because it does things calmly and his life has just changed for better. And the mom, mom said that was very good. Continue. And in Brazil they are, you know, Thousands of people converting to Islam, getting to know the truth, and you know, that was very beautiful to watch. His reverse story was quite touching, guys. It was really touching because you could see his, his belief for Islam, his zeal for Islam, his connection for Islam, and that was beautiful to watch. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.